Hello everyone, this is Richard, and I am back with Lord of the Rings, the Minecraft Lord of the Rings Let's Play Episode 2. So, basically, I did some off-camera work, um, and the I did two things off-camera. First of all, I got this farm, and as you can tell, I kind of moved it, and actually made a new farm, which I think looks a lot better, over in the distance here. I had to surround it with fences so that they would not, um, so that the hobbits wouldn't trample it. And that's one of the major reasons that I actually... Um, put fences here, and ba or that I did it off camera was because I had to use so many fences. It just took it would have taken too much time to do it in an episode. So basically, we have some wheat growing here. We have some coffee and tea bushes growing here, and we have some pipe weed growing here as well. Since I found that over in that direction, and then I want to complete our quest. So I went and checked the wiki for the materials we would need to make um, those mugs. And basically we need to make, I think, seven more mugs, or we need seven more mugs, and we need, in order to make them, clay, like balls of clay, and iron ingots, and then we need to cook it. So first I am going to go and just heat up that iron that I mined, and start that, and while that's heating up we'll probably go harvest the crops. Or at least the coffee and tea, because that's done. And maybe I can actually make a, co a cup of coffee or a cup of tea in this episode, which would be pretty cool. So, let's just start the smelting here in the furnace. I'll toss in some coal and that iron. And I'll actually make a few mugs real quick. I guess that's... Is that a um, cauldron of milk? I've never seen that before. Let me see, actually. I can't right-click it with a bucket. That's interesting. I was thinking it would maybe put like milk in the bucket if I did that. But anyway, we're just going to craft them real quick. I think it's... Yeah, it's this... And, well, that's what the wiki said, unless I have it wrong and it's the opposite. Okay, let me go check the um, wiki again, I'll be back. Okay, so I figured it out. Basically, we need tin ingots to make it instead of iron. And so that's fine, because we actually also have some tin that I mine as well. But I don't know, I guess we'll just get another furnace in here real quick then, so that we don't have to wait all that time. So let's just make another furnace. And I don't know if this is only one thick. If this is only one thick, I won't do this then. Okay. We're actually just going to put the furnace behind there then. And I'll grab one piece of coal. And put it in here. Actually, we don't need one more piece of coal in there because that's going to be enough to do all four that are left. So while that is going on, I'm going to go back over here and we're going to harvest some of our first coffee and tea. And as you may be able to tell, I already got some tea leaves a little bit earlier because I was harvesting these when I moved them. But we'll actually have a fair amount of tea and coffee after this for sure. And then we can make a mortar and pestle from the coffee and tea mod or my mod and um, be able to make our first cups of coffee. So I think this will be our like maybe last episode in this part of the Shire and then we'll go use this teleport to get to the very border of the Shire, the Brandywine Bridge, and cross into either the Old Forest or Breland. I guess this just says, this just says Area Door, but I guess... I don't know why it's technically just kind of not labeled Area, because the whole thing's Area Door, all of this. Everything, I think, usually west of the Misty Mountains is considered Area Door in Lord of the Rings. So I don't know why it just calls all of this Area Door, but... Yeah, I guess this is Breland, so this is just, quote, area door according to it. And so that's where we'll head in next episode. And I'm pretty sure there's some rangers in that area, so we could actually do some quests for them. Which I think involve the old forest. And those may be some pretty hard quests, actually. So basically, these, you can tell when they're fully done, the bushes, by basically the height. If they're one full block tall, they're fully done. I still don't know how to tell when pipeweed is fully done. And I can't remember how big it was when I first planted it there. But we can. We have a lot to harvest from this. And there's still a lot of wheat that hasn't grown up though yet. So let's see. We have five wheat. Well, actually, I think, yeah, our inventory is full. So let's drop this stick, which we don't need. We got 64 tea leaves and 56 coffee beans. Actually, more coffee beans than 56. So I guess I'll see if we have any seeds and just replant some of those. 
And coffee beans are actually the seed for the coffee plants, so we'll plant a few more of those back. But I suspect we won't be needing many for a while again. And let's just replant all these seeds. And let's see, grab some more tea seeds. Keep mixing up my inventory key. It is E, but usually I set my inventory key to I, so I mix it up like that. And I guess we'll just plant all the tea seeds because there's no real use for them for us other than planting, unlike the coffee beans. So let's head back over there and hopefully our tin should be smelted by now. And again, I forgot what time I started recording. So this may be like four minutes into it or something, I'm guessing. And it's 7.45 p.m. right now. So I'm just going to use that to try and keep track of when to finish. So if that's like four minutes right now, then we're just going to finish at 7.55, I think. I'm trying to get my episodes out at 8 p.m. Eastern every night, but that is not really going to work, as you can tell, because I'm already late if it's 7.45. So, I guess the feather may be handy later to make arrows, but we don't really need a stick, or so we'll drop the stick and grab this tin, and we can quickly make some more mugs, which I guess we need seven mugs, and each makes two, so that should be enough, and then four clay here, and that would give us eight clay mugs which will be now need to be cooked in a furnace which that actually works out perfectly and I got some XP from that I wanted to actually wait and get all the iron ingots at once so now while those clay mugs are cooking up let's see I wanted to start making the mortar and pestle so we can grind up the leaves Oh, I forgot how to make a mortar and pestle though so I need stone actually to do that stone and iron but actual stone not cobblestone so we gotta wait for that to cook up so I guess right now we're just really waiting at this moment and I guess I can start I don't have enough furnaces because these coffee beans also before they can be used need to be roasted right here the tea leaves don't need to be done in anything other than ground but the coffee beans need to be roasted and then ground I tried to make the mod fairly realistic so that because the um coffee and tea mod gives quite good advantages and stuff so I wanted to make it balanced so this will make a mortar and pestle I think after all I did make the recipe and now I can just place this down on this crafting table here it has its own cool 3d custom model I made just like everything in basically the middle earth mod I don't know how these people spent forever they must have spent forever working on the stuff in the um, Lord of the Rings mod I mean because it just does everything so this begins grinding up these tea leaves as you can see and I'm actually getting ground tea leaves in a separate one and now it also says in the chat how many uses are left each time so now we can go I guess since that is finished we'll go bring these to the hobbit I don't know actually I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these seeds in a chest here then this is just I'm using their storage a hobbit's house storage so we'll go take these to that hobbit who needed it so we can complete the quest. And now I think she's the one with the book, so we can hopefully finish up this quest. And I can't sprint because um that. So we completed a quest and we got plus nine, which is awesome. So basically completing quests with them give and it looks like I got a reward too okay so I got silver coins which I guess are a currency you can use at vendor shops and stuff so there was an actual reason to complete that quest other than just it being cool complete a quest in this and let's see okay no more um, wheat has grown because what we really need is some food at the moment but I think I'm just gonna go sleep in there in the hobbits bed steal their bed for the night because I don't really want to work out. I guess it doesn't really matter though if it's dark in this because monsters can't spawn anyway, so we don't even really need to sleep. It's more of just an issue for you guys if you can't see, but I don't think that'll be a problem. So we don't really need to be cooking all the stone, so let's stop doing that. But my inventory is too full to be able to do anything. So I guess we'll just put all that stuff there that we don't need away. 
And let's grab out some cobblestone, let's grab that out, and let's start some coffee beans roasting. I'm gonna actually make some bread. And I guess we should also start... We're gonna need to basically boil the water in this cup of water here. So we'll just do that as well. Real quick, I guess that's a complete waste of the um, coal. I should just use a piece of wood or something for that. And it's pretty cool, let's also add chestnut wood trees which spawn in the Shire and they have a whole different look. So that makes a boiling cup of water. So we can actually make a cup of tea right now, I think. Just by putting these tea leaves around in here. And now we have a full cup of tea, which I'll place on this stove. And that will give us regeneration for 8 minutes. And also, it not brings up your hunger. Since it's so hard to make, it takes so long, I figured it would also, when I created the mod, I figured I'd also make it bring up your hunger. So that was the main reason that we spent making this. Uh, making this. And you get two sips from each cup. So basically, you can use it twice. And now you can see we're back to an empty cup. So we'll go fill that up with water so we can use this later. And now that we've completed a quest, maybe I should go see if we can get another one, and we'll just complete a... We'll try and complete two quests in each area at least before we move on to the next. So she doesn't have a quest. Okay, she has a quest. I'm in need of two bronze hoes. So I think we can actually... This will be a cool time to try and make bronze, actually. The problem is I think we just wasted all our tin ingots, so I don't think we can make... I don't know. We can make, I think, some bronze stuff because we still have one tin ingot left. So since we still have one tin ingot and we have a bunch of bronze, I think, somewhere here, yeah. Co or copper, I mean. Let's see. We'll collect those roasted coffee beans and we'll start the copper cooking so we can actually make some bronze stuff. So I'm just going to skip through the time while this cooks so that we can keep the episode short. Alright, so the copper just finished in the furnace. And now we can hopefully make some um, bronze with it. For some reason I couldn't think of that. Yeah, so we just put it together and we make we get two. Okay, I was hoping we'd get four. So that means we don't have enough to complete the quest, I'm pretty sure then. But actually I wanted to mess with these um, small pouches real quick since our inventory is, a, uh, is such a mess and I think I can actually store stuff in these so let's try this out like okay so I can and it gives me nine and it looks like can I actually edit this yeah I can actually rename it too so we're just gonna make like a food pouch I think food stuffs food well, I think we'll just call it food stuffs so I'm gonna it won't just be food it'll be stuff related to food as well so Th um, things like bread, um, wheat, what else can we put? We can put the tea leaves since we can use that. We can put like the coffee beans. We can put these, I guess we should merge that stack. Um, the ground tea leaves. And I think that's all the food related things we have. And actually I think I'm just going to put my coins in there too because I don't want to have them in my regular inventory. And actually we can put the empty cup in there as well. That way we don't have to carry it with us. And so yeah, I think that's good. So now we need to go find one tin ore somewhere. Just so that we can get our... Uh, just so that we can basically afford to make that second hoe to complete the second quest. So let's see. I'm trying to remember where that cave was we found earlier. It was near the portal, I think. So I'm going to head in the direction of the portal. The regeneration from my mod would be really handy, actually, when we go in the dark forest, because... Or it's the old forest, not the dark forest. There's an old game I used to play that had the dark forest in it, and I now keep thinking of that. But basically, it would be really handy in the old forest, because when we go in there, there's, I think, the trees will attack you, or can, some of them, and so it's really handy against... It would be really handy against them. So we have explored some of this cave, but I think we did, I'm not sure we can like followed it to the end. I think we should be able to definitely find some tin somewhere in here that we missed. Although I don't know. Up. Oh, I don't think there's any in here. Well, actually there might be. I see some iron we missed. 
Okay, just wanted to light that up. I guess there's no real point in keeping it lit. So let's grab this iron, because you can never have too much iron. Except I guess once you have diamond, then you can have too much iron. The only real thing you can never have too much in my of my in in of in Minecraft is coal. So that is not tin, unfortunately. It just looks like it, because tin is also gray, but it's I think it's like slightly darker gray. So that's not really gonna get us what we want. So we're gonna just leave here real quick. And I need a piece of cobblestone to like mine up. I guess we could actually also put that um, mug in the pouch there as well. Basically, if like it doesn't seem like nine free slots or nine extra slots as much, but basically, if you, since they gave us three pouches, that's like having a whole nother inventory because your inventory is like 27 slots, I think, plus a bonus nine, I guess, if you count your quick bar. So basically that's like pretty much having almost another inventory or carrying basically a chest around with you. So let's see. Oh, the book looks really weird. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. Did we explore that way? Not much. Darn it, there's no tin down that way. I'm afraid now we're going to get lost down here. Ah, is this tin? I think this is tin. I feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah, that's not tin because... Tins mineable with a stone pickaxe. So I guess let's keep moving. There's so much stuff in this mod that looks like tin. It's like. Oh, I remember going down here because this was like at Y12 or something. Okay. Let me see if I can jump around that better. There's copper, <laughs> which we have plenty of at the moment. Okay. Ah, dang it, it's not tin. None of this is tin. So I may just have to do this off camera until I find tin. Alright everyone, so I am back, and basically, I did finally find some tin. It took quite a long time though, a lot longer than I figured. So basically, in addition to getting some tin though, I got a lot of iron ore, and I also found some silver ore, which apparently requires a iron pickaxe, just like diamond, in order to mine. So I'm pretty sure we can turn that silver ore into coins. So I want to just wrap up this episode, and I guess in order to do that, we're going to wrap up this quest. We're going to finish this quest, and then we're going to make some silver coins, and I think that'll be it for this episode. Then in the next one, we can begin venturing out into Eriador. And basically, I just wanted to start these in the furnace real quick. I guess we have a multiple things that need to be put in the furnace. We need to start the silver ore. And we also need to, let's take this coffee beans out actually, we also need to put our tin ore in. And basically, I guess we also have some copper that I found as well, so I guess we can put that in right after this um, tin. We're not going to be able to get all four to be done though, because we can't do it that fast. But while that is going on, I guess we can make... Oh, actually, we don't have... We do have enough. We can make um, the first bronze hoe for the quest real quick. And then we'll be able to make the second as soon as we put the um, copper in. So let's just put that in. And now let's grab out our tin. And mix our tin and our copper to make bronze. Which I already lost the tin. Okay, there it is. Oh, no, that's silver. There's the tin. Okay, so we got our tin, and now apparently we need to go get some wood, which I think I have some planks that I put just in this chest, so we'll go use that to make some sticks. And now we should be able to wrap up that quest. We don't have enough space in our inventory, I guess we have to drop something. Whoa. Okay, let me free you. I think they're probably going to die before I can, but... Okay, uh, they died, unfortunately. I don't know how they glitched out and suffocated in the wall. That was interesting. But let's try and pick up these sticks. I don't know what salt pepper is, I guess. Actually, we, if we put... Yeah, if we put these roasted coffee beans inside of the food pouch, then we can do that. So let's just put the roasted coffee bean away. And now we have everything. So I'm just going to go and finish this quest real quick. 
And then we'll make ourselves some silver coins as well, which we should probably get some more after completing this quest. Okay, and so we now achieve, we got a um, achievement, it looks like. I guess which must get at plus 10. And what did we get in return for completing the quest? It doesn't look like we got any more coins, though. Let me check that pouch real quick. Oh, we did, I think, actually. I said, thank you, my good friend, Glorfindel22. That should do nicely. So I think now, actually, the hobbits will have, like, different texts if we talk to them now because we have a higher reputation. I'm curious. Nope, it seems like they're actually the same. Don't you wish you lived in a hobbit hole, too? I kind of already do, actually, but... <laughs> so, yeah, they didn't actually change. Maybe it's, like, at plus 50 or something that it changes. I guess you can have up to plus 100. I would think, because that's like the edge of the bar, although maybe it just keeps on going. So let's make ourselves some, I don't know how to make, I forgot how to make nuggets. Oh wait, I think I just did it, okay. Yeah, you just put one and that makes nine. Okay, so we can make quite a lot of coins then actually with the silver. So with the silver then we can, I think it's just that, yeah. So we can make 36 divided by 4, I guess that is, crap, I can't do math right now for some reason. 15, I guess, 3, okay, so 18, half of that, 9, so we can make 9 um, coins from this. And yeah, 9 silver coins, and we'll just merge that with the ones we have. So we now have 35 coins, which you can probably use with traders and stuff. So yeah, I think that'll basically wrap up this episode. We completed two quests built a farm and um, got some more coins and stuff so yeah it was a pretty successful episode thanks for watching everyone Richard out